It does not Adam Lambert. Wow. You're allowed to roast here. We're roasting. Okay. Oh, well, that's yeah. part of my first line, roast Lambert. Ah. ah. Yeah. I'm going first. I mean, th- after the pandemic, there's a lot to go around. I mean, I'm like a hearty portion, honey. <laughs> but I'm right here, yeah, buddy. Yeah. I'm right here with you. All right, let's go. Right, right, here we go. Turn it up, Jess. Let's Woo! kick it in the guts a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> kick it right in the guts. Woo! Okay, you've got this, Ryan James. Long intro. Okay, here we go. Come on, mate. Don't be nervous. Roast him. Oh, Adam's here, and it's time to roast lamb, but you dare take on Fitzy, the lyrical gambit. Oh. You're popular here in this country, Australia, but you're going to dive quicker than Iggy Azalea. Oh. You burst on the scene in American Idol, runner-up, and then heard on every radio dial, the voice of an angel in spectacle hot pants and hair from the band My Chemical Romance. Oh. Brian May calls you up, the legend from Queen. You're down the line. What do you want from me? Oh. He asked you to step in as the voice of Freddie and like whip around the ATO, you're getting sweaty. Oh. And then you jump into a nuclear reactor, a judge on Australia's X Factor. You replace James Blunt, mentored the winner, while Iggy thought she was on Jerry Springer. Oh, hang on. Now you're back with an album of covers. <laughs> You've had more hits than Tom's had lovers. Oh. We love you, Adam, the ultimate hit producer, and officially now in the world, you're the most successful loser. Oh. For the record, outside of the family, Tom's had one lover. <laughs> oh, no, he's had, he's had so many lovers. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Okay. Sure, Fitzy was a dodgy footballer. Every goal he'd miss, he'd grow an inch taller. Oh. He's not a goal kicker. He'd always miss the point. He spent his time on the side getting oil in his joints. Oh. He worked in a deli without much knowledge. You kept serving ladies your stinking crumb sausage. Oh. He's half dead. Time is not an option. You're so old, people bid on you at an auction. Oh, yeah. You're an antique, yeah. mate. Antique. Good start. Why before you, it's all about your image. You're on enough hair meds to kill a small village. What? His body is a forest of oily hair. His autobiography should just be called Nair. Oh! He looks like Pavarotti and he smells like Pavlova. He's not the king of radio, he's the king of the comb over. Oh! Sadly, all whip but does his float. Hey guys, you want to borrow my timeshare boat? Oh! It's, I mean, it's a 60-foot it's a 60 foot Riviera. Oh! Every time I see him, I think I'll get hurt because he sits there thinking I'm Roast Lambert. Oh. Whippa makes food disappear like a wizard. Didn't the Rolling Stones call you Beef Richards? Oh. <laughs> beef, beef, beef Richards. So farewell, boys. It's time to be sedated because I look around this room and the careers are cremated. For the second time, I've won the rap without a doubt. Whip, do you want me to sign your cans on the way out? Oh. For a pen. That was massive. Ooh. Massive, unfair, but accurate. <laughs> oh. Tom, there can only be one winner. It's Adam Wow! <laughs> you didn't really think about it, did you, Tommy? <laughs> That was magnificent. That was Adam was well amazing. done, mate. Well, well done, buddy. That the was the only awesome. country that I could get away with rapping on the radio. <laughs> well, you've got it. Send that straight to I Ryan Seacrest, Tom. Oh, well done. Um, if you want to go check out Adam rapping, you can go to the Fitzy Whimper Instagram account right now. Adam Lambert, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Thanks, great yeah, man. Yeah, it's good to good see, to see, see you, guys. you guys. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie on Nova. Welcome, everybody, to Rental Time. Who won last week? I think you did, Kate. I think I may have well done well. Thank you did killed I? it last week. Good luck, everybody. Three riddles. Let's get into it. Here's the first one. Even though I'm not alive, I can sadly die. And while I don't have a mouth, I can speak. If someone needs you, then they need me. Telephone. What am I? An iPhone. You're spot on. Bang, Ryan James! Oh. Kate sits very silently, almost angered. No, I just... I, do you know what I realised? Yeah. 
<laughs> I so did. Oh, you stop me. Oh, yeah. Okay, hey, mate. yeah. Hey, I did that three hey, years how do, ago. How do I say this, Kate? You're in here for two hours a day. Stick with me, mate. Oh. Stick with me. But then I go home and I listen to the podcast. Yeah. I, my life is radio, hey. so everything no. I do now is content. I mean, it's 24-7. Yeah, yeah, it is. I get it. <laughs> it's tough, isn't you it, You love Kate? this game. Okay, so, listen, Kate, listen, what I'm going to do listen, here, listen, I'm going to read out the riddle, and you have to try and come up with the answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. What goes through a door but never goes in and never comes out? No, that would go well, in that is an answer. Oh, no. It's not the answer. We've been over oh, this for five dear. years now, Ryan. <laughs> well, that is. It's not the answer. Through a door. Yeah. Time. Key? No. Key's good. Through a door? Does a key go through a door? I'm going to give it to you. Keyhole. Yeah. Key oh, hole. well, no, no, no. A key and a keyhole are two completely different things. You're right. Don't you think? Yeah, they are, not. yeah. One goes in. One is a, is the thing that opens the door and the one the, the other thing is, is what... Is the existing key, hole. Is the existing goes, hole. The key goes in and out and doesn't actually go oh, through the door, does it? There are other examples so of that. So it is that. correct. And air is correct. So air I'm is on, not correct. I'm on three no, points. No, air is not correct. That is not the answer we were looking for. Here we go with another riddle, guys. Um, I am what never was cannot be seen and no one will ever see me but I am always to be the, past. the future bang the future yes! <laughs> the future she's so excited Ooh. she's jumped off her seat with it. that's it well done so, great quick I round I so panicked someone else is going to say that was really good I think we do one more Tom I've just got a feeling that everyone wants another riddle okay you one know what more. I mean sneaky one don't be greedy because the more you have the less you can see what is it Life. Don't be greedy, because the more you have, the less you can see. Yeah. What am I? Yeah, age or Food. life is a good one. Sight. Yeah. Food. Like a meal. No. The more you have, the, you have, the less you can see. Good answer, Tom. Because the more that you yeah, have, yeah, yeah, the that's an answer. It's a great answer. No. The more you have, say it again. Thank you for the opportunity to share. <laughs> Don't be greedy, because the more you have, the less you can see. What is it? Is it but in the food space? Is it no. love? Is it a feeling? No. Ryan was... Is it a key it's or a keyhole? It's, it's a flashing light. It's light. No, it's, it's not. Dark, stronger light. Darkness. Day. MDG. Bye, 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 bye. That's unfortunate. Because you won that one. That was you. Really nice to share it, though, to think MDG got one, Ryan got two, Katie got one. Um, and Kate got so and Kate got one and Tom got none. Oh. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova. This is wrong. It's not right. And it was spotted down in Melbourne's Eastern Freeway. Um, an L plater driving a Lamborghini Aventador. You got a door, you got a gym. Um, uh, you got a door, you got a gem. Or have you got the other one? You got a Aventador, you got a gem. Oh, oh wow. there it is. Someone's been busy. There's, it's the, a Aventador. The so the Lamborghini called. Aventador oh, yes. is worth $900,000, Kate. And oh, a 16-year-old boy is in there with his dad learning how to drive. Oh, maybe it's the only car his dad's got, it's, do you think? It's just ridiculous. He didn't like, have a choice. What are you setting? Like, what See, are you... I've never been in a Lamborghini. No. I don't sit. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not actually. No, it I, should be in a Ferrari. I'm not planning to. No, but even but sports I, cars, I think, are so silly. Well, I think you pay all that money and look how tiny they are. It goes from zero to mm. one hundred in three seconds. It's like a do you motorbike. want a sixteen-year-old to do that? No. And when can you do that? No, you can't do it anywhere. No. I you know, if you, you know go, what? Talk about money, right? There was a guy the other day who told me that there's a place in Switzerland yeah. that a lot of people here in Sydney that have a lot of money keep their cars so they can go over there and drive at the speed they want on great roads. So they will keep a car in this place that looks after it, cleans it, maintains it. On the other side of the world. Yeah, and then you fly over there and take your car for a drive. Is this Hellman? No, or not Hellman. 
<laughs> you want to talk about Hellman when he was going Who's for his Hellman? Hellman's it's a mate of mine. It's, it's a mate, and his nickname is actually Hellman. Yeah, he is loose. <laughs> he he would be in his forties now. Probably not a nickname that you want when you become a father with a couple of kids. Well, oh, he's, he's married. He's married now, and she said, "Why do you call him Hellman?" I said, "Don't ask." <laughs> I don't want... think you can go out with someone called Hellman. We gave him no, the number plate, Hellman. Because you know where you end up, obviously. Yeah, Silverwater. He, when he was on his L's, he accidentally um, put it into drive instead of reverse and looked back and then drove straight through the garage door. Who Did, does that? Who, I didn't have a bad that, experience like who that. Who taught you to drive, though, Kate? I actually went... No, no, I had a real life. Yeah. I think both mum and dad, I, did, I was booked in to have a few lessons on a manual. Yeah. And I did a couple of lessons, and I thought oh, I'm not going to need this. Can I? I just want my license right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, but when I got my license, I don't think you had to do all those hours and everything. It no. was just like when you thought you could drive, Pretty you easy. went for the test. You went for the P plates. Yes, Katie, and your daughter caused a thousand dollars worth of damage. Is that right? She certainly did. First drive, I took her to the showground to to make it easy for her, mm. and um, she did a hard right and went too hard and went towards a shed that had like a rock in like rocks in front of it and right. just put the mag straight into the rock and pierced the tire. And <sighs> yeah, it was um, the car oh. had to come home on a flatbed too because then our mate couldn't look after me properly. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> God, lady. good start. Let's go to Jamie. Your first driving experience. What happened, Jamie? Hey guys, yeah, I was first lesson with my dad. I got in the car in the driveway, thought I put it in reverse. I did not drive straight through the garage door. New oh. beauty, new beauty. <laughs> Happens a lot, Jamie. Straight I reckon. The roller door. <laughs> I reckon when the when you call the insurance company about a new roller door, they go L plater. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your bad learning experience, Georgia? <laughs> Had a couple. I think my most memorable one was I side swiped the same car twice. <sighs> twice. Um, How? <laughs> I think like Kate said before, when you try to focus on not doing it, you kind of do it. But we were coming around to bend and I side swiped it and I was like, oh no, mum's gone right. We need to go back around the block, pull up. Couldn't pull up anywhere, but there was one in front of him. So I thought, okay, I'll pull past them and go there. And as I've tried to do that, I've side swiped them twice as she's walking out of the child wow. care. <sighs> in front of a child care centre. Awesome. What about the time we had that thing? We had a gig here, Fitz, where we organised. We had yes. to drive but with our uh, eyes closed and we had to instruct... That was out at Homebush, yes, yeah. in the car parks out there. That what was, was yeah. that for? No, you won a new car. Oh, OK. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so you had to do an obstacle course with your eyes blindfolded closed. driving. So we had to instruct, go left, all right, go quarter, go quarter right. Mm. And that was going really well until there was a, a lack of control and someone hit the generator that was pumping up the giant Nova Boy and started a small fire under the car. That's all right. We, yeah, we lost we Nova Boy that day and unfortunately three <laughs> listeners as well. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova. I would love to hear from anyone if they have something called claw towing. Um, I'd never heard this term before. Um, this story is about thongs, the ones that you wear on your feet. Mm -hmm. uh, and apparently they could be worse for your feet than we first thought. Yeah, I've heard um, this too. We're one of the, the only countries that, eat, that call that style of shoe a thong anyway. As we know, there are other countries that call pieces of underwear mm, thongs. thongs. Um, but for us... What do they call them in Brazil then? I mean, there's a big thong population over there. What well, is it, flip-flops? No, I, I think they that. do... Oh, what I don't they? know what they would be calling it. Tom, get onto that, place. Well, look, Brazil is where Haviana started, isn't it? Well, that's the thing. So what do they just call them, Havianas? That's a brand name. Or does it mean more, Tom? I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they, they call them Havianas. Oh, they do. See, okay. yeah. I agree. Aren't they so comfortable? They are Thongs. amazing. But the uh, look, even the AFL footballers are told not to wear them now because they're, they're not good for you. Well, they're, they're way too flat. I th look, I think with thongs, <laughs> there is a time and a place for them. But then you, there are these people as well who it doesn't matter, rain, hail or shine. Will wear they, thongs. they will wear thongs. And you usually know where they're from? Queensland. <laughs> well, there are some areas of Sydney where you know where they're from. I did, I did no. my wedding waltz in the thongs. Did you? Yeah. Adelaide. Jeans and thongs. It was 40 degrees. No, I, I did have. I was wearing my suit and it was 40 degrees, so I just chucked the thongs on because my shoes were. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's a oh, photo. Man. Oh, black ones at least? Yeah, black ones. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's all right. The, the formal, the suit. The yes, formal so. uh, <laughs> style Havianas. One of the main issues with them is that they're too flat and according to Complete Podiatry, they can increase stress to your forefoot and calf muscles. I knew it. Um, 
you know, your toes have to grip the floor constantly. And this is, I knew someone once upon a time, I just worked with them actually, um, and they would wear open toe shoes and thongs quite a lot. And yeah. I think th- this is what claw towing must be, is that because your toes are gripping to the f- ground yeah, so yeah. Yeah. often, they they, they become inflexible and they kind of like become oh like little vol- you know like vultures oh. over the over the oh. end of your shoes because you, 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 they're working overtime the whole time you're yeah. holding onto the thong almost like, trying to keep your shoe on like T Rex hands wow yeah little, but bigger well, that's little, like little. tennis elbow now mm. you can get with your phone so people using their phone RSI. all their time RSI and using your thumb a lot of people are getting tennis elbow now because you which got, is really painful you've got a bit of an issue with the old bunion don't you how are no, your bunions no it's not my bunion what are oh, they do you it's have my, bunions? It's I have my bunions. second do you want to see my second and my third toe oh, are bigger no. than my big toe and now it's causing major problems no, no they're no. not i've had do to get orthotic around? it's really weird kate oh, it's like the big, oh my see, god he's taking his shoe off feet aren't great but are no, they're they not. Um, are your feet okay oh they're cute socks do you shave your legs no. oh my gosh never, oh. never shave my legs look at the second toe you're not very hairy are you second and third toe it's disgusting it's bigger than the big toe but your your second toe is curly over. But now I've got major problems in the ball of my foot because I feel it feels like I'm mm. bruised all the time because all the pressure goes into the second and third. They're working overtime. Maybe I should get under thongs. Oh I my don't God. think so. When thongs get uh, wet, the danger of a wet thong is just <laughs> so slippery. When your thongs get wet. Do you know what? Can we, can we jump onto the other thong for a minute? Which thong? The underwear thong. Yeah. Because Why? a friend of mine said to her mum, hey, you should try a G-string. Because mum's kind of 70 plus. And they were going to the races. And the mum said, oh, yeah, maybe I will. So that you don't get the old uh, VPL. Yeah, yeah. So Where is this going? She finally decided, oh, okay, darling, I'll wear one. And was it like a contact lens? And she couldn't remember whether she'd put it on or not because she couldn't find it. got eaten. It? Anyway. Oh, was it uncomfortable for Christine? No, or? well, it wasn't my mum. She would have never have worn a G-string. My mum, God help us all. Anyway, Aww. then she got home and she said, Darling, I don't think this G string is for me. Like, I'm not into them whatsoever. I know yeah. what you're going to say. You do, don't you? Wrong way. She had it on the wrong way. She <sighs> said, Lift up your skirt and show me. And she was just, God, cutting the life out of her. Oh, um, as you could imagine, there, you got to make sure. She just no, thought the bigger she... part went at the back, which is. To cover, your to cover your bum, which would make sense, wouldn't you? And the largest sort of triangle of Tom material. Tom made that mistake as well. Yeah. Oh, that I wasn't don't know a mistake. Where you he thought it was. Wear, oh, oh, yeah. oh, I don't know why you thought it was a headband, Tom. Oh, mm. I've never seen flies' eyes like it. It's a very uncomfortable morning for me, but thank you for I think helping. I should have washed it first. Wow. Oh, look, nothing better than a full brief. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.